I found this junky veneer saw at one of the big box stores for around eight bucks and I took it apart to get the blade because it has these nice heat treated teeth and it has a really good flexibility to it so I decided that I'm going to make it into a flush cut saw. I'm going to use a piece of cherry for the handle only because I couldn't find any bricks that were soft enough. This is the shape that the handle's going to be in. The first thing that I did was use steel wool and tooling to remove the black letters and the lacquer finish from the saw. Then I applied a coat of wax so that it would be nice and smooth and wouldn't rust. The design for this tool actually came from a NoHo91 video. I saw him using a tool like this and this is going to be pretty much a copy of it. But there's no way I'm going to get one of those unless I make it myself. Cherry is the hardest wood that I've ever worked with. Finishing even a small piece can be a lot of work. To make the finger slot, I used this piece of glass to make sure all three pieces were flush. Now I'm just going to freehand the route in with a three quarter inch round nose bit like this. Burn marks are hard to avoid whenever you're routing a hardwood, even at a slow speed and even with a sharp bit, and they are hard to sand out. I made this black walnut stain a few years ago from actual black walnuts. I thought this would be a good excuse to use it. My hands were stained for two weeks no exaggeration so it's really important that you get this stuff off your hands immediately I'm ready to go lacquer my handle but before I do I wanted to lay out the saw blade cut so that I can get it ready while the lacquer is drying what I did was allowed about an inch to stick out on the front and on the side about a maximum of three quarter I doubt I'll ever cut material that thick but just in case. I rounded it on the sanding disc and then I filed the edges nice and smooth. I sanded it with some really fine sandpaper and some steel wool and then I put a little bit of wax on just to keep it from rusting and keep it nice. I'm ready to fasten the pieces together but since this blade is so thin I don't want to attach it with any sort of screw or anything unless it's an absolute last resort. So I'm going to try this two-part epoxy first. These are such smooth, flat surfaces that in order to get the two-part epoxy to stick, I'm going to have to mar both of the surfaces. I'm going to use this rotary tool to put in some cross-hatching.
I'm also going to use some 40 grit to further rough up the surface. Now I'm going to apply the same treatment to the blade. Now it's time to epoxy it together. I put a couple more coats of lacquer on this thing to make it shine real nice and pretty. And I cleaned this up with mineral spirits and then denatured alcohol to make sure that there's nothing in the way for a good adhesion. Well, there you have it. No hose flush cut saw. Thanks a lot for watching.